Yo, what's up guys, it's Garrison here and welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be doing my first listen to Blackpink's first full album, by the way, titled The Album. Man, oh man, I've been waiting for this moment and finally now that I'm feeling, feeling better than earlier today, um, I am doing this uh, near midnight. I thought might as well guys because personally for me these last days actually a couple of weeks i've been more engaged um with my studies and focused at this time of night into the am into clocking out and all but before we really get into this i just want to let you guys know that this first listen will be split into two parts um this first part will include pretty savage the other one being bet you wanna featuring cardi b that is going to be an interesting one as my eyes popped up seeing the track listing uh, beforehand. After that, there will be Crazy Over You and then the other two uh, songs, Love to Hate Me and You Never Know, will be in part two. Other than that, guys, let's just get into it. All right, so this first track is titled Pretty Savage. Now, seeing the track listing for this first full album by Blackpink before they dropped Lovesick Girls and shortly before this first listen, of course, they, the lineup is stacked in, in terms of who's behind each song and so on and so forth. Uh, In-house uh, producers from YG, the likes of RT, Becca Boom. But when I saw who was behind the lyrics for Pretty Savage, I saw Vince, I'm like, yo, this is going to be crazy, um, both in the singing and rapping department, of course, because from what I know from Vince, the Black Label, Mennal, into Emergency, you know, if some of you guys know, pull up on the block when you call it. I highly recommend that guy's uh, music if you guys are into hip-hop, R&B, soul, and whatnot. But earlier today, I saw an article about Lauren, and I was mind-blown because Lauren took part on the lyrics here with Danny Chung on Pretty Savage, but also took part on the lyrics with Danny Chung, Jenny, and Jisoo back on Lovesick Girls. And he was also the male actor in Lovesick Girls. Crazy, right? So those guys are going to come up. Uh, highly recommend you guys uh, keep your eyes out for them. Enough talk. Let's just get into it. Oh. Loving the piano. Black pink in your area? Oh, I'm already getting a good feeling here. Wait, am I hearing right? Did and then do 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 reference. I'm a bit euphoric here, in some ways. Okay, I'm not hearing wrong. Ooh. I love in the aggressiveness here. It's being presented by all the members. Ooh. Wow. Jisoo? Ooh. 
didn't expect that from Jisoo. The guitar and the... Tell him, Jenny. Right, white, out of sight. We're in the bridge here with Rose. More rain and wind it blows. Loving the acoustic work and percussion here. Wow, I like how the lyrics and all really link similarly in terms of the style and what they're trying to project out, which is titled Pretty and Savage. Um, Pretty Savage definitely being different from each other super contrasting in terms of meanings and such but they really do put the pretty into savage you guys know what i'm trying to say here now what what really got me here was right from the start okay how it starts off like that but when they throw out the b word straight up not like a simple silence or something like that or censoring it was shocking you know i mean it's super unexpected but i've heard songs go crazier than that in terms of cussing in terms of aggressiveness as i do listen to hip-hop k-hip-hop and such and so on and so forth but this <laughs> is because Blackpink is the first time ever doing something that's this level of aggressiveness, I'd have to say. Um, but how I hear the drums, they're, they're solid. But when during, especially during when Lisa uh, spells out Savage, and then they go hollow at the end, and then she spits her rap verses like that. And then Jisoo with the rap. This is a good one. But I don't think necessarily this is the type of song that I would play on repeat. Mind you guys, really. I feel like there's some Blackpink songs where I can't keep on repeat. But there's just that quality where I could go back on this song. And also not forget it when I finish uh, listening to the song. You know what I'm saying? I think back on way back on how you like that before that and after the fact. I was listening back on the old B sides, um, really, um, and all these other B sides, and I'm like, this hits different now. And maybe like a week later or a day later or, or an hour later or something like that, Pretty Savage is going to hit differently. But man, loving the attitude. I don't know how you can just say um, the V word and um, have all this attitude, but in such an elegant manner, so smooth, so cut sharp but so beautiful <laughs> it's crazy to think of you know what i'm saying let's just get into the next track now guys all right so this track is titled 
Bet You Wanna featuring Cardi B. Now I'm seeing huge names again. Ryan Tedder. Now Ryan Tedder, I had grown up um, listening to his uplifting works music and somewhat meaningful in some cases. I'm not sure about what kind of works he had put out as of recently. Uh, Melanie Fontana, of course, but also seeing Teddy, um, Tommy Brown, as well as Mr. Franks. Now, these three names I've seen quite often and way back when uh, Blackpink put out their song Ice Cream featuring Selena Gomez, and that song really worked um, in such a clean um, succession and all. Now, they came on to this. Maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I have some questions to be answered, and let's see if they get answered here. Let's go. Black pink. Ooh, Jenny. Cardi. Cardi. Where you wanna go? I'll meet you with my bags at the door. I'm gonna make it all blind. Every time I walk, my hips are on my. Take me to your paradise, cause I don't wanna wait anymore. I say it one more time. Every time I walk, love the sort of brand piano. I'm loving how it's high in tone right now, but Cardi B. Ooh. Ooh. Choir, fire. Love the chord progression in the song. <laughs> oh, how they worked off of each other and connected like that in their vocals. Yes, Jisoo. Such a bright track. But I'm really... And it ends with Cardi B. Now, what really stood out to me? Okay, first of all, let's talk about Cardi B first. Okay, I, ha I honestly, for me, I haven't been keeping up with Cardi B's works. Um, only um some of her um viral hits uh here and there. And I sort of gotten a little bit of understanding of how um, she flows and how she delivers and projects her lines and rap verses in her songs and such. And I mean, she does a solid job, right? And um, more than solid job. And in this, I love how more laid back and still Cardi B um, that um, a lot of people may love and know. Um, when it comes to putting out her rap verses, um, no um, cussing or swearing by her, something like that, which works in this case. Uh, maybe she had to refrain herself. Uh, maybe it was in the details of uh, what we wanted because that's usually um, the case um, when uh, you're asking for a featuring. Oh, this is what we want or um, in terms of an instrumental when you're searching out uh, to make a song. 
this is what we want in the instrumental we want this kind of mood we want this kind of tempo there's there's a criteria for some of the things and what what makes it really work for me it doesn't feel copy pasted you know what i'm saying no control uh c no control v if you guys are familiar with um keyboard controls but whatever it was clean clinical and it worked right as uh blink who biases uh rose i think she really shined in this uh particular track with the high notes and everything but jenny i she got me shook in the way how versatile um she keeps delivering her vocals you know as much as i love her rap verses when she puts out rap verses and all in certain songs and such jenny really stood out here as well in terms of the vocals i mean what can i say lisa's rap um jisoo when she has her moments she really shines as well um and i love how there's high tones and then uh the low tones um uh when it comes to cardi b's part and um it goes up and down and up and down and it just ends off just like that guys singing the high notes there with jenny and rose uh just to recap that one part that I really enjoyed. I think that has to be uh, my favorite part. I can't really tell though if I like this more than Ice Cream because I've listened to Ice Cream more. Unfortunately, I couldn't put a video out for that. If you guys are wondering where the video is, I really, I really like that. I was busy at the time, but um, I can see myself listening to this song. You know, it, um, Cardi B's uh, part. Yeah, it just doesn't feel forced guys and that's my main concern um w when it comes to featurings and crossovers and collabs and such but all my questions have been answered and thank you for that okay um let's just get into the next track now guys all right so this next track is titled crazy over you this time future bounce in the mix for this song with others let's go Oh, is that like a Guzheng? Guzheng or... Oh, squeaking there. With the drums. Oh! Okay, Jisoo. Full English lines. Ooh. Sort of this, these plucking sounds. I can't tell if they're string instruments or just done with electronic sounds, but. Oh, I'm loving this, guys. I'm already loving this. <laughs> Jenny! Hold up before I get punched right after <laughs> Jenny from Lisa is these bars by jenny guys i'm gonna bring it back to like e e e e by jisoo so good like this is already straight out of the gate so blackpink but this is something new by blackpink right from the start we're hearing traditional instruments being implemented uh, quite a bit of percussion instruments as well with the drums and all but I can't tell if it's string instrument. Definitely, um, I think the strings that go do 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 that part is um, definitely a use of string instruments. But let's go back to like it 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 it. I love it. This is so good. Like e e e. Feels wrong, but it's right, right. Black down on night, like pink down like fight night. Feels wrong, 
feels wrong, but it's right. Right blacked out, no night light, pinked out like fight night. Okay, Jenny, I see you. I see you. I saw my mind press right. Stack it up. Like how the instrumental paused there a bit. I love Jesus' part so much. Boy, by the time I'm done, I won't be the only one. Like you made me, you can't blame me. Swear once you get a taste, don't take my place. You love me crazy. I'm gonna be mad till you get me back in them arms. Sound alarms. Hands down my favorite song on the album upon first listen. No joke, guys. Now, I'm going to tell you guys what the huge reasons why I love this song. Right from the start, I'm hearing... I'm pretty sure it's the Gucci and uh, the Gucci. I still to this day I can't pronounce it right, but um, Gucci and, um is often used in um, songs that sound uh, traditionally sounding, of course, because it's a traditional instrument going way back in the days. And I just know um from um, family members and actually owning one is that one way i can describe the look of it it's like uh imagine a keyboard right um with all its keys though white and black keys now remove those add in strings and that's all that traditional sounds the 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 plucking of each string at the start how how um nasty it can be you know how nastily it could be done but then it goes in the squeaking, you know, like wipers or something. However, that introduces for what's coming up next with the plucking. Um, I'm not sure if it's done electronically or string instruments, but the do 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 from the pre chorus to the chorus to the post chorus, so cleanly executed. Jenny, Jenny really stood out with her rap verses i'd have to say um really put it out there like that laid it out there and then the slight pause with lisa's rap but like e -e -e, oh my goodness jisoo that is so all these lines by each and every member are so rememberable i'd have to say and it it how how the song is overall arranged is so clean it's so cleanly done i'd have to say um i'd also hear some woodwind instruments a bit of drums here and there woodwind instruments um i i i'm i'm pretty sure definitely um not your ordinary modern flute you know probably going way back because there's different flutes coming from places like mongolia and etc guys if you like search it up and all uh, maybe there's an oboe in there um maybe it's that instrument um I, I i can't remember what's called when you're charming snakes and such you know um but this song the way how it's broken down the way that it's done um and how uh, we're getting um these full english lines you know uh, mind you full english lines does not always mean good you know i always like to take it from an objective standpoint and say hey do these lines make sense do these lines connect to um what whatever message that they're trying to convey that they're trying to put out what trying what black pink's trying to put out and i got what they were trying to say in this case with crazy over you definitely um 
could be my top b-side to date by blackpink i'm not sure about that but definitely up there we'll see um I'll see myself actually as I listen to it more after uh, this first listen later on the weeks and days and hours and such. But this has been the first part of the first listen for Blackpink's first album titled The Album. I'll see you guys in part two.